Hey guys, welcome to the video guide series of the RC streamer. In this video, I'll talk about the clock input on the RC streamer. RC streamer is featured with two BNC clock connectors at the back of the panel, rated at 45 megahertz and 49 megahertz. If you have an external clock that outputs this two frequency, you may synchronize the external clock with the streamer by connecting the BNC cable from the clock, or we call it master clock, to the streamer connector over here. Uh, compatible device such as Terminator 2, Terminator Plus, as well as Dina Frips master clock can be used with the RCA streamer. The RCA streamer needs to be configured in order to use the external clock input. Right, let me just flip it to the front and show you how to configure the RCA streamer to use internal clock or the external clock. Right, first thing first, I'll need to power up the unit. As soon as the streamer receives power, the standby LED turn on. Hit on the power button once, the startup sequence will begin and the LED flashes from the left to the right. And it takes about 3 to 5 seconds for the unit to fully start up. And the last selector input will turn on and if you have the network cable connected to the unit like what I will do right now the net LED will turn on after a while so this after a while really depends on how fast your router assign an IP address to the streamer so all this is done automatically by the router as well as the streamer so once the unit is fully start up we can configure the unit to use external clock as this is the purpose of the video. To configure the unit to use external clock or internal clock, you need to set the RCA streamer in configuration mode. To do that, hit on the setup button once. The setup LED flashes, it tells us that it is in configuration mode. And if you don't do anything at this point in time, the setup LED will turn off and the net LED and rune LED will turn on. So this essentially exit the configuration mode and the streamer is back to operation mode so i'll do it once again just to just for clarity hit on the setup button once the setup led flashes but if you don't do any setting at this point in time the unit will be back to normal operation mode where the net led turn on and the last selected input rune turn on but that is not what we want we want to configure the RCA streamer to use external clock. Right, I'll do it this time around. Hit on the setup button once and use these two buttons to navigate to different settings on the RCA streamer. As you can tell, when I hit on this USB button, the LED goes to the left. And when I hit on the source button, the LED goes to the right. I'll leave the LED at this A play button and at this point in time, toggle the local button, you'll notice the net LED turn on and off as I toggle the local button. When the net LED is on, RC Streamer is expecting to receive external clock input. It is configured to receive external clock. Right, after a while, the unit will be back to normal operation mode where the last selected input and net LED turn on. So to confirm this setting, um, it's kind of easy to tell. If you do not have external clock connected to the RCA streamer and you try to play music through the streamer to the deck that you have connected to, because of the absence of the reference clock, the streamer will not stream music because there's no reference clock for the streamer to process the digital signal. So you may also check this setting by going back to normal operation by going back to configuration mode. Hit on the setup button once. Use these two buttons to navigate left and right. Leave the LED at the uh, A play and toggle this button. So if you want to use external clock, turn on the net LED. But if you do not want to use external clock and wish to use the internal built-in TCXO in the RC streamer, leave the LED of net to off. And this will configure the RC streamer to use internal clock instead. All right, that's so much so for the external clock configuration and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.